Early scheduled program for this special report. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of the G.O.W., the Generation Wrestling Podcast. As always, it's yours truly, the franchise, a.k.a. the showstopper, better known as the G.O.W.'s resident tribal chief. And with me, as always, I got my dad saying, part of my brother, my family. Here's the flies in the room, Mr. One, two, three. Pin that ass down, okay, Breezy, a.k.a. EC's resident Isaac, hey, <coughs> excuse me, shit, Isaac Hayes, King Tuco, bro, what's good? I was about to say, man, clear your throat. I said, man, your camera a little fuzzy, bro. Man, I don't know what the fuck going on, dude. This shit been fucking up. Uh, time for a new one, man. Time for a new one. Uh, man, but what's good, man? It's Friday night block party, man. You know what it is, man. It's your boys. Uh, we just got done with SmackDown. Now we about to get these predictions out the way real quick because, you know, we got to give you your thoughts. Yesterday was the holiday. So first and foremost, man, we hope everyone had a safe and wonderful holiday with the family and friends, uh, you know, and, 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 and got to watch a lot of football. Uh, I ain't going to lie. The game that came on today was a pretty good one. Them Chiefs almost gave it up to them Raiders, boy. <laughs> they almost gave that shit up to them. But it was a good game, good way to end the uh, holiday weekend and, uh, uh, you know, kick things off with uh, some, some Survivor Series. So with that being said, bro, man, let's go ahead and get to this thing real quick. Man, five we, matches, bro. We already know. Hold on, we, 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 hold on. We'll get into it real quick. Let me just hurry up and do a quick rundown of what happened real quick to set it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm rushing. I'm rushing. No, no, no. You, hey, bro, bro, trust me, trust me. I'm tired. We there, bro. We is not going to be on long. Real quick, man, just a couple points to hit on. You had Roman Reigns and CM Punk. They had to sit down with Paul Heyman. CM Punk pretty much cut to the chase. He said, hey, look, hey, I don't like you. You don't like me, but I'm not here for you. I'm here for Paul. And if we somehow survive war games, a favor will be owed. Roman Reigns said, oh, I owe you a favor. CM Punk said, nah, you don't owe me a favor. Our wise man owes me a favor. And as Roman tried to ask Paul, what was that about? Paul doing what Paul do? Tell Roman, hey, let's just worry about tomorrow. And if we make it out of tomorrow, we got plenty of time to talk. So, again, you plan the seeds for that. Uh, you got Jay Uso, man. He uh, lost the War Games Advantage match to Jacob for two. You got Cody Rose versus Carmelo Hayes. It was actually a really good match. Of course, Cody ended up picking up the victory. Then you had a women's tournament opening match for the U.S. Championship. We got Mi Chin, Piper Niven, Lash Legend. First of all, Lash Legend had a fucking banger when she does officially get that solo run on the main roster. She's going to kill it. But right now you got me Chan winning. And then, man, that was pretty much it. Everything else was a setup for our prediction show for tomorrow. You and I will be live from the East side compound, bro. Chacho. We've been waiting all week for this shit, yep. man. Survivor series, five matches, make it do what it do. What you got for the people? Ah, uh, man. Well, bro, we're going to go with that first one, man. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to start with the ladies, you know, since, uh, you know, it's official like a referee whistle. It will be Bailey uh, yeah. that will be joining them. We're going to see how that works out. You know, Bianca seems okay with it for right now. You know, she's accepting it. They need the body. It is what it is. Uh, yeah. But we know if anything goes left, we already yeah. know what's going to happen. So we ain't worried about that. So mm -hmm. we're going to go with them ladies, man. We got Bianca. Rhea, we, oh, we got Team Rhea versus Team mm -hmm. Liv. We just gonna call it like that. Team Liv and Nia, since they both the women's champions. Uh, bro, who you going with first, man? I will give you the first pick, man. Who you? I'm who you not gonna lie. I, for this? I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I want to go with, with 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 Team Rhea, but you know, Nia Jax came out and said, "Hey, look, out of the two teams here, y'all team got the most dysfunction." Everybody on your team got some type of beef or like some type of past hatred with each other. Our team, we straight. Like it is what it is. But I think that could be a swerve. I think it could be a monkey wrench, man. So with that being said, I got to go with team. I got to go with team Rhea. Team Rhea. Team Rhea. Right. Big boy got team Liv. I ain't going to lie. I think team Liv going to win, but I got I to gotta pull a king too cold, man. I, I, I got I to go against the grain. All right, that's funny because I shit. I think it might be. I you know what they it could for the run to be team real though. I mean, because right now, yeah. Uh, 
Because my yeah. and the only reason I think it could be team live, and not even trying to sway your opinion. The only reason I think it could be team live is because we still don't know what's up with Jay. And there's so many storylines that seem like it'll make more sense with Team Ripley losing as opposed to Team Nia or Liv losing. Like, them losing don't really, eh, what storylines you really got on Raw that really matter? You know what I'm saying? On With that specific collection of women. The only thing that I can think of, uh, yeah, with them, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, Team Rhea. Yeah, I, I'm going with Team Rhea because I, 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 there was a slight chance it could have been Team Liv. You know, they could have pulled something out. But right now, yeah, I, I think they uh, – I think they're just for show. And Rhea's going to come back and get the victory, which will probably prompt her uh, after EO to get another title shot. Did she get the – okay, okay. R- real quick, did she get the victory over Raquel? Did she pin Big Mommy Cool? Now, who did she get the victory over? Nah, that, that, I don't think that matters. She could pin Nia Jax for all I care. She could pin anybody. Oh. Team Rhea, just, they just going to get the victory. I don't even think it matters who okay. exactly they'll pin, but it's just the fact that, you know, they going to pin somebody. Okay, okay. Brother, all right. I'm, what, what, what we got next? What we got next? All right, that was one war games match. Next up, man, so we got three championship matches, man. So mm. we're going to get this one out the way. L.A. Knight, Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, fuck. I... Yeah. The wrestling, you said. Heart, the wrestling heart in me wants to say Nakamura. I feel like he, if if there if there was a moment to do something, it would be this match. I think you, it wouldn't hurt LA Knight. It's not really hurt LA Knight by losing to LA to Chinsuke. The rivalry comes out of nowhere, but he's had a good couple of runs yeah. with the title. Ah, fuck it, you know what, man? I'm gonna go knock him more. I'm, I'm gonna go knock him more. I, La Knight can retain. I, I it could be it could be there for La Knight to retain. But you know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go with Shinsuke, man. I, I I want Shinsuke to win it, but don't forget Shinsuke cut in front of the line in front of Andrade, and I think for that reason alone, I think Andrade. He didn't is going cut in front of the line of Andrade. That, that's how Andrade feel. Andrade lost a triple threat match, bro. You didn't cut no line. You lost. You didn't win. You 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 didn't have you had two title opportunities, bro. <laughs> you, you, I mean, damn, you had one, you lost it got cost. So it ended up being y'all three in a triple threat match. You lost. You neither one of y'all won, man. I don't care. You, you cut the line, my boy. Cut hey, that hey, line. Hey, hold on, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. He, he ain't respecting no damn line. Hold on, hold on. Did, 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 did he lose or did Triple H? Book him to lose. It don't matter. He didn't win. <laughs> he didn't win the championship. He didn't walk out champion. He didn't walk out new United States champion. He walked out loser. So therefore, <laughs> you at the back of the line. So you a piece of shit. <laughs> he says you walk that loser. Hey, hey, loser. what you do when you put two L's together? You lost. You lost. You had your opportunity. Uh man, go hey the speed tournament starting up soon. Go on here. Uh hey, speed of, speaking of speed tournament, I think Zelina Vega won. Oh wow. So okay. Well, you know, hey, there, congratulations. That's about as good as far as it's going for. Um now I mean I that I hate Zelina Vega. I, that's that's as far as it's going for. Uh, I got Nakamura, man. Who'd you pick? Fuck, man. Try to convince you to pick LA Knight, man. I got Nakamura too, bro. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. Nah, I wasn't picking. Nah, this is my boy. Oh, by the way, man, I love Shinsuke's new theme and his presentation. I ain't gonna lie. Now, if this shit don't work, my boy, you might as well go ahead and request your release, man. Because goddamn, I like this new presentation he got. Yeah, it looks nice, but again, we'll see the commitment behind Triple H and, and the rest of the WWE on it. <clears throat> but then again, man, Chiske look like he's just happy to make good money and, and he don't really give a shit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right, he said this predetermined I mean. ass shit. As long as that check clear, fuck it. <laughs> I mean, but I, honestly, if there was a fire to do it, man, they didn't burnt that out of him a long time ago. So, you know, let that yeah. man catch it. Let that man catch his check and get out of his way. Uh, next match, man. Um, 
All right, we got the we got the United States. We're gonna go to that Intercontinental. We got a triple threat match, man. We got that boy Sheamus. We got that boy Lewis Kaiser, and of course, man, we got the Intercontinental Champion Braun Breaker triple threat match. Bro, who you got, man? You got three people, three chances. Who you got? Sheamus Kaiser Breaker. Yeah. I, I I you know what? I actually want Sheamus to win. I think Kaiser's going to have the standout performance, but for some reason, some way, I still see that boy Big Bad Braun Breaker retaining this chip, man. Big Bad Booty Daddy Breaker. All right. <laughs> yes, yes sir. yes, sir. Hey, I don't know why I didn't expect you to keep going. So when you hit me with the Booty Daddy, I said, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Seamus, man. I'm going to pick Seamus. I'm gonna pick Seamus. I wouldn't be start. mad. I'm I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna pick. I think he. Uh, I think he can steal it out of this one. I mean, why not? You know, it would be a great opportunity for him to get it. You know, and then honestly, you can build Brian back up to take it from him again later. Uh, you yeah. know, it, it, whatever. You 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 still got something there. And right now, Louis Kaiser, I expect him to have a great standout in this match. I, I really expect him to show up. And show that you know, like like Gunther said, man. Hey, it's time for you to, it's time for you to do your own thing. So I yeah. can definitely see that happen. Uh, some of these comments here is man, Lions got lucky the other day. That wasn't supposed to win that game at all. The Lions, man, shit, they're not the way the Chicago Bears was playing. They're playing man. trash. <laughs> they, and, and, and the fact that they even came back in the game ended up being as close as it was. As it was hey, man, they, yeah, yeah, they was looking for that. that but yeah. hey, the Chiefs now, the Chiefs weren't supposed to win today. Yeah. That was some bullshit. That that center boy, I hey, that, <laughs> that shit. They was they was in field goal range. I did even though dude missed three kicks already. Hey, they man. was in field goal range. You should just kick. You had eleven seconds left. I don't even know what you was trying to go for more yardage for. Yeah. You, 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 oh, you, you see the Bears after that fuck up of a game yesterday, they fired their head coach this morning. His ass out the door. They realized, oh, it, it wasn't uh, Justin Fields, huh? <laughs> Bruh. It wasn't Justin Fields, Bruh. huh? I guess Bruh. Caleb Williams ain't that much better, huh? Uh, Good God. Meanwhile, Justin Fields headed to the playoffs with them, with them goddamn shits uh, burned still in, uh, man. Uh, uh, well, guess, huh? Guess, huh? I guess we know what the problem was, and it wasn't just Justin Fields, because apparently Caleb Williams is dealing with the same exact issues. Well, that's what happened when your offensive line got you running for your life. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, but, but they had, like, that wasn't a problem. <laughs> like, it was Justin <laughs> Fields. Yeah, like, it was him. Like, it yeah. was all him. Like, bro, yeah. dude, are y'all watching the same game? Because – I'm watching the guy drop back, and trust me, yeah. I know when a shitty offensive line isn't protecting the quarterback. Have you not watched the Browns games? We know when a shitty line is not protecting the quarterback, and the Browns shitty, the Brown, no, Brown, the Bears shitty ass line didn't protect last year, and they definitely ain't doing it this year. But hey, yeah. I digress, man. It is what it is. Uh, and he said he's got Team Live. He says I want Nakamura to win, but going with L.A. Knight, Clive, yeah. G.O.W. Man, what's up, Clive? Big boy also says, man, he's got to go with fella. And then, of course, man, he says, Antonio better keep his job with Liv. Uh, hey, man. No, no, Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas. Oh, uh, hey, he might not, man, you know, but he might get a good job somewhere else. Somebody might see him be like, hey, we like what you do. Bring it on over here. They don't, they yeah. obviously don't, they don't like it. They don't respect it. I'm about to say, because I, I, I think Pierce here. is a cool. I think Pierce is a cool coach. Like, I mean, I know the Raiders ain't necessarily their record ain't reflecting that per se. But I think, ah, hey, from what they were before he got there till now, I, hey, bro, hey, you can only do so much. I mean, shit, you ain't out there on the field, man. Ah, man, exactly, bro, <laughs> exactly. So it's like, man, look, and, and as a former player, it ain't like he ain't speaking to these guys. They, they know mm -hmm. how to talk to them and they know how to listen. And obviously, man, they they feel something because they, hey, they, even though that game was, it was, it was a. It was a long. It was it, it was a blowout game for the beginning, but that that end, hey, they made they they, they yeah. made it something. They made it something. But man, next up, man, real quick, man, before we get on out of here, man. Hey, man, we got that boy Gunta, aka hey, Walter, yeah. defending that championship against the former El Champion, or I say El Capion. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, mm, I love Priest. Come on. Come on, start dragging it out, man. Who you got, man? 
Oh, go ahead. See, I can see Priest getting it. But I can also see Walter retaining it, man. I'm going with the general, man. I'm going with the ring general. You and I, uh, same thing, same thing. I, I've been asking you the last few weeks, man, and and I have been forced to believe that Damian Priest can and will eventually dethrone Guta. But it ain't his time yet. And, and don't forget, they also teased that match with Goldberg between him and Goldberg, and Goldberg announced that his last match will be a retirement match in 2025. So if you're not going to do Brock versus Gunther, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Goldberg. But I think after that, man, our boy Priest will make it back to the top. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely can say that. Most definitely can say that. All right, man. Well, with that being said, man, the final match we got to predict on, man, is the men's war games match, bro. Not even going to lie. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we both going to have the same pick here. Mm -hmm. But it's your turn to pick, so who you got? I got, I got, I got Bloodline 2.0, man. I feel some fuckery in the air. I feel some shenanigans in the air, man. I don't know. I got 2.0. You got 2.0. You got Solo in them? I got Solo in them. Oh, wow. Okay, man. I, I, we, we totally went the opposite. I got the OTC in them. I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I think there is some fuckery going on, but I don't think it's going to affect them. Um uh, I, I think this would be I think this would be their way of just kind of getting their one ups, but still mm -hmm. setting the stage for something else to come along because this ain't the end. This ain't gonna end that war. Oh games. no. This this yeah. ain't over. This this is definitely gonna this is definitely gonna find its way after war games because uh yeah, there's no way this is in the solo ain't just gonna roll away. It ain't like this was for the head of the table or anything like that. You know, this is just war games. So you got 2.0, I got the OTC. And so you got solo, I got Roman, and man, that's uh that's all we that's all we needed, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. As my man said earlier, we are not staying on super long today because guess what? We got an early, early show tomorrow, six yeah, o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Standard early. Time. Early. And my man's got to go to work. So with that being said, I know he got to go to work, then he got to come home, but then we got to congregate. Then we're going to do what we do. We're going to drink and have fun, and we're going to be on long enough for y'all. But don't you worry because he know we're going to be off Sunday, but have no fear because Monday, man, we coming right back because what we got to do, man, we got to get ready for that NXT, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to get ready for the deadline for next week. But until then, we got to get ready for tomorrow. So with that being said, yeah. Big Boy says 2.0. Oh, man, damn, he's rolling up with you, man. Even he say 2.0. I ain't going to lie, yeah. man. Adding Bronson, adding Bronson Reed to it just made them really, really scared. Yeah. Like extra, like extra, extra. That's, that's extra, big oofs. Extra scary. So that one's a little bit ooh for me. But. Hey, we're going to see, man. I don't know if the ring, they're going to have to reinforce the ring, man. I don't know if the ring going to be able to handle all those big, meaty men uh, <laughs> slapping meats, you know, around each other in that cage like that. So, you know, they're going to have to figure that out. But with that being said, man, that's our predictions. Uh, we both got Team Ripley. We both got Nakamura. Uh, I got Sheamus. He got Brian Breaker. We both got mm -hmm. Walter. But Priest should put on a great match. OTC for me, solo on the new bloodline for him. And we're going to see how this thing rock out tomorrow, man. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we appreciate y'all, man, coming out to hang out with your boys, the GOW. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but yet you are here hanging out with us, and we appreciate you for that. Like my man said, tomorrow, 6 p.m., Eastside Compound, man, live. So yeah. Progress, man, it's going down. Uh, make sure y'all get y'all holiday food ready. You know this is day this is day two. Tomorrow's going to be day three. You know, usually the holiday food runs for about another two to three days. So go ahead and make sure y'all get all them fixings ready. Make sure you get all your drinks and everything ready. And, uh, yeah, man, we're going to enjoy a good holiday weekend uh, pay-per-view with some wrestling and a little bit of ass kicking. And uh, hang out with your boys, man. But other than that, my guy, my bro, until tomorrow, man, hit that button, man. Yeah.